So, what we have seen so far that in crystalline solid in crystalline solid there is a atoms are arranged orderly in the solid and it has a pattern unit a pattern unit and repetition of this pattern unit basically from the crystal structure. Now, we want to we want to learn we want to find out that how many pattern unit are required to describe crystal structure of all materials right so in this regard an eminent french mathematician French mathematician his name is Bravis. He introduced a uh, concept of lattice, concept of lattice so this this lattice is basically is formation of lattice is basically mathematical concept. So, what is that? So, basically if we imagine that that a infinite number of points infinite number of points are arranged in space so this diagram is similar to the earlier diagram but there i i told that these are atoms, but now it is not atoms, it is basically the infinite number of points arranged in space in such a way in such a way that the surrounding of a given surrounding of a given point will be same of the surrounding of any other points in space. So, if this criteria is fulfilled means if I take any points the points are arranged in space in such a way that if I consider any points and whatever the surrounding whatever the surrounding of this points. So, there will be same surrounding there will be same surrounding of any other points same surrounding of any other points.
So, if I take this point So, so all these points arranged in a space in such a way that if I if I just look at a point and what are the surrounding of that point, if I look at any other points uh, it will have the same surrounding. If so, if arrangement is so in space then this each point is called lattice point each point is called lattice point and and this this arrangement this arrangement in space now it is called point lattice or space lattice. Okay. So, this purely mathematical concept just take hundred thousands and thousand points and arrange in space in such a way whatever the arrangement it does not matter, but arrange in such a way that the surrounding of each point will be same. Then that arrangement in three dimension in space it will be called space lattice or point lattice and each point are basically the is lattice point. Okay. So, from this arrangement from this arrangement one can one can again find out the unit one unit and repetition and repetition of this unit is so it is it is in two dimension so in three dimension one can one can find out this unit so then this unit is basically is called unit cell this unit is called basically unit cell so whatever earlier we used to tell this pattern unit now we are telling we are calling it as a unit cell unit cell ok. So, pattern unit really uh, we told that is basically we talk in terms of in terms of atom, but here we are talking in terms of some uh, points in space ok. So, here also these points are orderly arranged in space and one can find out the unit repetition of which can form this uh, uh, point lattice or space lattice. So, in three dimension this uh, it is uh, one can
So, in three dimension one can one can get unit cell like this and repetition of this unit cell repetition of this unit cell basically you can from the lattice space lattice. Okay. So, basically one has to draw I am not drawing. So, basically if we continue this way one has to draw properly. Okay, so, just one can repeat in all directions, in all directions and uh, get the uh, get the point lattice or space lattice. Okay. So, so, how to So, how to arrange how to how to arrange the point in space so that there are different ways to do that. So, this uh, one way is the following. So, if you if you divide the space taking three sets of planes, each set of each set of parallel planes, each set of parallel planes equally they are they are equally spaced, their distance are, are, are same, they are parallel. So, this is one set of parallel planes divided the space and then another set of parallel planes they are also equally spaced and parallel, but their distance may be this planar distance may be different than the earlier one here whatever planar distance in this other direction planar distance can be different, but in this set of parallel planes they are equally spaced and other sets of parallel planes other set of parallel planes. So, they are also again equally spaced and parallel, but their planar spacings can be different from the other sets of parallel, parallel planes. Okay. So, if you divide the space taking three sets of parallel planes in each set of parallel planes the planes are parallel and equally spaced. So, then what we will get? We will get basically we will get basically this type of this type of uh, structure. So, here here so these are one set of parallel planes they are equally spaced this another set of parallel planes they are equally spaced and these are uh, other set of parallel planes. Okay. So, this way. So, they are uh, parallel and equally spaced. So, then what we are getting? We are getting basically we are getting basically cells. We are getting basically this whole space is now whole space is now uh, divided into uh, into many cells and these cells are all cells are equivalent 
identical their size shape or identical ok. So, so now corner point of each intersection corner point of each intersection intersection of three planes. So, this is this is one sets of parallel planes this is another set of parallel planes. So, inter intersection of these two planes and this is another set of another set of parallel planes. So, this so these three planes this plane this plane and this plane they intersect at this point right. And now just consider the parallel of these planes. So, you will get intersect of of these three planes at each corner of this unit cell ok. So, these are the intersecting points intersecting points here whatever this we have shown they are basically intersecting points. So, this intersecting points is basically is lattice point ok intersecting points are basically now lattice point ok. And this all points together all corner points of of cells basically forms the point lattice or the space lattice ok. Just from this figure if you just remove the those lines just leave these points then you can see the arrangement of the points in space, arrangement of the points in space ok. So, that whole arrangement in space is basically called the lattice, the space lattice or point lattice we, we just call the lattice ok. So, so, this way one can form without we are not discussing anything about atoms or nothing you know just this the concept of brevis concept of brevis that in space how we can arrange points ok. Where the points each points will satisfy some condition where what is that condition now each point will have the same surrounding whatever the point will consider it will have the same surrounding of this uh, like other points ok. So, so this is one way to form the this is one way to form the lattice point in space and we can get the unit cell we can get the unit cell from this arrangement of the uh, lattice point. So, now, now this arrangement of the lattice point it can be different depending on the depending on the spacing of the parallel planes in each set. So, three sets of planes. So, three sets of planes ok. In each set of planes there are many parallel planes. So, they are spacing they are spacing whatever the spacing another set of parallel planes they are spacing may be different. So, so, spacing of these three sets of parallel planes can be same, can be different, etcetera, etcetera. Two are same, one are different. And also, also these parallel planes, a set of parallel planes, how they what is the angle with the another set of parallel planes? whether this angle are 90 degree 
this is one set of parallel planes, another set of parallel planes is this. So, so if it can be 90 degree, it can be other than 90 degree. Okay. So, basically here important is the spacing of the spacing of the parallel planes for three sets of planes and angle between the uh, between the planes among the three sets of planes. So, that can be that can vary. Okay. So, depending on this angle and the spacing of three sets of planes one can have one can have different arrangement of, of, of points in space. So, that means it will form different point lattice or space lattice. Okay. So, to describe this one to describe this uh, different kind of, of, of point lattice or space lattice. So, we have to we have to uh, we have to consider the this spacing of the planes as well as the as well as the angle among the planes. So, this is defined the spacing. So, So, the spacing of one set of parallel planes, spacing another set of parallel planes. So, this is the spacing basically as I told this in, in one set of parallel planes, the spacing are constant. Okay. This is another set of parallel planes. So, these are the spacing. So, these are again these are constant. Okay. So, this in other direction in other direction this will be the uh, spacing of this uh, this say these are the sets of parallel planes. So, this another uh, the another another spacing. So, this if we consider this is A say this is B and this other other direction is it is C. Okay. Then, in figure, whatever you are seeing, this ABC that is that is basically this this spacing of 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 parallel planes, as well as angle. Angle we have we can define. So this is say so this A. So this is basically. B this is basically B and then your other direction in the other direction. So, this this say be other direction so it is perpendicular basically on this. So, it is C. Okay. Now, this angle angle is between B and C between B and C it is defined as alpha, between C and A it is defined as a uh, beta and between B and A it is defined as a this angle as a gamma. Okay. So, Imagine that taking three sets of parallel planes, we can divide the whole space, right? Depending on the spacing of this, uh, spacing of each, spacing of planes in each set. Okay, so for three set, the spacing are A, B, C, and the angle. angle between the two planes angle between the two planes. Okay. So, 
that we have defined for for three planes uh, this angle we have defined alpha beta gamma okay so so whatever the whole space is divided whatever the whole space is divided and gives us the smallest unit that we are telling that see, see unit cell okay so that unit cell have so this uh, in figure these are the unit cell okay so unit cell can be defined as a as a three axis a axis b axis c axis and three angles alpha beta gamma okay alpha beta gamma so these three axes are called basically crystallographic axis crystal axis crystallographic axis crystallographic axis a axis b axis and c axis right and the angle and the angle alpha beta gamma and the angle alpha beta gamma this uh, among the among the three axis okay alpha beta gamma so so along the x axis along the a axis whatever the minimum distance between the two points minimum distance between the two points so lattice point right minimum distance of these two points is basically this length of this between these two points it's we take as a similarly along b direction the minimum distance between two points are b and in c axis along the c axis it is c. So, a b c and this angle between angle between uh, b c it is alpha other is beta and this gamma. Okay. So, these three x these three parameters length parameters a b c and this three angle parameter alpha beta gamma. So, this putting the value of these six parameters define the unit cell okay. varying these parameters we can get different unit cells. Okay. So, so these are called these six parameters these are called lattice parameters this is called lattice parameters lattice parameter and basically is or lattice constant lattice constant okay so for each lattice for for each lattice these parameters are whatever the parameter uh, that will vary and we will get different uh, different unit cell uh, for different space lattice. So, we will continue this discussion in next class. So, uh, thank you, thank you for.